Hello again, this is State Representative Tom Morrison. I'm down here in my office in Springfield, and I have a little extra smile on my face today because I had a very enjoyable day with about a dozen constituents who came down early this morning and arrived about mid-morning, and, and we spent the day together uh, touring the Capitol, being on the House floor. They were able to watch the governor's budget address, which was the big news of the day, and we just had a really, really great time of interaction, and they got a picture of what my... Uh, what my daily life is like down here. And so if you were, uh, if you missed it this year, I think we're going to try to do this as an annual event. So I would really encourage you to come down here, see what uh, happens down in Springfield on a regular session day. There were some protesters here, and, and so it was kind of a wild and crazy environment. And um, the big news of the day, of course, was the governor's budget address. The governor is required to present his vision for what the budget should be. And the governor highlighted, of course, that we're now in our eighth month in this fiscal year without a state budget. And he laid out some of the real consequences for what that means in terms of higher interest rates that we pay and, and just a diminished view of the state's economy for those businesses that are thinking about expanding or moving to the state of Illinois or even those residents who are thinking, you know, maybe there are greener pastures elsewhere. But rather than just complaining or just talking about the negatives, he laid out a vision of for where we could be and what steps we could take to become a prosperous, uh, thriving state once again. And he laid out some reforms. He stressed pension reform. Yes, the Illinois Supreme Court ruled last year uh, against Senate Bill 1, but there are things that we can do that are constitutional that would create a serious savings for pension reform. And even um, the governor demonstrated a willingness to compromise. He talked about Senator... Uh, uh, Senate President John Cullerton's pension plan. And if that were in enacted, it would result in about a billion dollars of savings. What does that mean? That means more investment in education, more investment in infrastructure. That means not raising taxes as much. Uh, the governor even had that on the table as a potential neg negotiation. He said he would be willing to vote for a tax increase, but we have to get the structural reforms in place too. We've tried tax increases without structural reforms, and it did not end well. And so um, I was encouraged. I agreed with probably 80 to 90 percent of what was said in the speech, and I appreciate what he is trying to do. Now we need to support him in the legislature. If you'd like to reach out to me, give me a phone call, 847-202-6584. Have a great day.